So it's a big welcome back to the Moors Millions qualifiers then. Leg one is the three mile five furlong maiden. Chase Stone Cold Steve Austin at the top for Matt Cooper, the teacher Josh Wasland, Tuxford Darren Thompson, Velvet Sky Craig Beckwith, Boucher Bleu or uh, Derek Hinton, Ella Casaida for Padre Hogan, Fermi on Freeze David Robertson, Good Queen David Hooley, Jewel Flower Leon Van Rensburg, Law Society Graham Clutterbuck and Place the Duchess Alex Cherry. And all called in, ready to go. Not sure why these Moors Millions and Maidens this week. There's not really need for them to be a maiden. I could let some of the older returning horses in them. And away we go. Fermi and Freeze is the first to show. I'm the teacher. Not that many opportunities for the long distance horses. They could have been allowed in these Moors Millions, I think, early on in the season. Anyway, they get over the first with 22 more to take and Fermi on freeze is the leader the teacher is second law society is in third last point on that is it also at the handicapper's job is it because he'd have a bit of a yardstick to go by although he will have because i think there are one or two that ran against horses that were around last week well i don't know last year maybe or something but it would make things a lot better i think all around if it's this ditch number three some of these long distance races were eased up on the restrictions because it is difficult if you've got a winner if your horse wins this by 20 lengths or 10 lengths even then you can probably forget it for the rest of the season because you're not going to get in many races anyway enough of that Fermi and Freeze in the lead from Law Society second the teacher is third then comes Stone Gold Steve Austin in fourth the six million dollar man who I think crashed out last week as they get over the next and they're all safely over that one good queen the early back marker the teacher and Fermi and Freeze and Law Society, they're the three who are disputing the lead early on, virtually three in a line. A gap of two lengths then to Stone Cold Steve Austin, who's got three or four on Tuxford. And Velvet Sky as they get over the fifth. Which they're all over safely. Fermi and Freeze now in a clear and disputed lead by a couple of lengths into fence number six. Which they all stream over nicely. Teacher Law Society share in second. Stone Cold Steve Austin back in fourth as they get over the seventh. And Boucher Bleu is the current back marker. A rare non grey, a rare non grey for Derek Hinton. As they pass the winning post, then two more circuits ahead of them. And Fermi and Freeze shows the way by two and a half lengths or so to the teacher in second. And he's got a neck up on Law Society. And a gap of a length or so then to Stone Cold Steve Austin, half a length back to Jewel Flower in the blue for Leon Van Rensburg, then another half length back to the yellow and black of Padre Hogan's Ella Casaida as they take that next one around the outside Tuxford, that's now the one closest to us as we change camera angles, tucked in on the inside Velvet Skies about half a length behind that one and there's a gap of two lengths and a back three, Good Queen and place the Duchess together with Maybe another length or so adrift. Boucher Blur. Fermi and Freeze is enjoying a good three length or so lead at the moment. Going into fence nine. Uh, gets over it nicely. They all drop that really well. Jumping's been pretty good so far. And Fermi and Freeze is setting a sensible pace. Into the next one. Once again, all over it nicely with Law Society second. The rest of the field now beginning to bunch up a little bit. As Stone Cold Steve Austin has dropped into the pack. They take this ditch, which they all get over okay. Bit of a ponderous leap by Jewel Flower, but nothing too serious. And Fermi and Freeze is opened up by five now. Bowling along in front. There's still an awful long way to go. Stone Cold Steve Austin and Tuxford. Law Society just been given a bit of a break than the teacher as they get over that next one. Again, all over it. Okay, mistake this time though at the back by place the Duchess. Alex Cherry's having a difficult start to the season. And it's Fermi and Freeze. He was now six lengths clear. Tuxford in second. Stone Cold Steve Austin third. Then Law Society is fourth. Velvet Sky close up as well as they take the 13th. 
of the 23 and head up the straight again. Next time round is a time it'll count. And Fermi and Freeze will be hoping to be in the lead, although, given what I said earlier, David Robertson might be hoping it's not that far in the lead. But it's clear at the moment, looks like Place the Duchess is about to be pulled up at the back. That's got that shot from the rear, you can see she looked like she was about to be pulled up. And Boucher Blur made a mistake as well. And that one is now starting to drop away as they come up past the stands again and they'll pass the winning post and head out for one more complete circuit. Place the Duchess pulled up. It seems a long time ago now, doesn't it? It's those days of SO6 and possibly even the early days of SO7. I can't remember when we used to get all those bizarre horses pulling up. They were like going really well and in second or third and they just pull up for no reason whatsoever. I used to tear my hair out. Well, I don't think I would anyway. As they get to the next and that used to happen but I kind of miss it in a way because it <laughs> did make for some dramatic sort of stuff and it got people talking in the forums as well which is something we don't see enough of these days post your thoughts in the forums chaps about what you think yours is done have a bit of a gloat if you've won pat somebody else on the back if they've won but let's get the conversation going and let's start talking about how we want things to move on through the next seasons and through into S08 we decided already, I think, not to have such a big gap between seasons because it's been a bit too long this time and people have drifted off into other things. But anyway, back to the race. And Fermi and Freeze is in the lead. Leading by two lengths to Law Society in the second. The teacher third, Jewel Flower four. And Stone Cold Steve Austin and Tux for the leader made a mistake there. And no one has a faller at the back as well. Good Queen's gone. So and you see some of these beginning to tire now as they get to the business end of the race. And Tuxford has gone on. Fermi and Freeze trying to re regain his equilibrium after that mistake. He's battling back on the inside. And La Casaida looks to be going well. Jewel Flower's come through from nowhere. Then Law Society, the teacher and Stone Cold Steve Austin and Velvet Sky have dropped off. And Boucher Blur looks too far adrift to play any part in the finish but it's Tuxford on the outside of Fermi and Freeze and Ella Casaida these three trying to go clear but Jewel Flower trying to keep with them as they get over the 20th just three more to take then in this first leg of the Moors Millions final at entry in the last week of the season and it's Tuxford who's taking it up Tuxford's now in the lead from Fermi and Freeze and Ella Casaida these are clear of the rest of them with concentrate on the first three as they race down towards the third last fence and it's Ella Casaida closest to us but a better jump by Tuxford Tuxford goes on again Tuxford by about half a length, three quarters of a length, it's Tuxford in front, Ella Casaida second, Fermi and Freeze is beginning to tire over the second last leg, this time it was Ella Casaida that jumped it better, Tuxford fighting back on the flat, these two nip and tuck as they race down towards the final fence, over it they go, it's all down to the jump and a mistake by Tuxford, may have handed it to Ella Casaida the teacher is finishing well, there's half a furlong still to go, it's Ella Casaida in the lead, Tuxford is trying to fight back, but Ella Casaida looks to have enough in hand, and up towards right, Ella Casaida takes it, Tuxford is second, Teacher third, Velvet Sky next, then Law Society, Fermi and Freeze, on all the way back to Boucher Blur. It was the last one to finish, and may well have been down to that jump at the last. That Ella Casaida takes it for Padre Hogan. Tuxford back in second for Darren Thompson, the teacher. For Joshua Sutherland was third, Velvet Sky, Craig Beckwith fourth, and Law Society for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.